Okay, so I know that we're talking about microwave recipes today, but I want to start out with a hack. Is that cool? I mean, it won't take long, it won't take long. So first of all, I made a giant container of it. I'm not obsessed at all, but I wanted to show you what I've been doing, which is taking half decaf and half regular coffee when making this. I'm one of those people that cannot survive a day without coffee. Some might call it a problem, some might consider it just like a necessary part of life. But I just wanted to share this before we get into the video. Just helping, helping everyone out. But as the title suggests, today we're going to be testing out some microwave only tasty recipes. I don't know, I'm just, I'm really excited. Like cheesecake in a microwave? What? And the first recipe is an egg custard. And this was done by Alvin in his like, all microwave recipes for a day. And it was something that he grew up with and it looked really good, kind of like fluffy souffle like. So I have here my little ramekin and two eggs. So we're gonna start by cracking the eggs into the ramekin and kind of whisking it together like you would a scrambled egg. We're gonna crack. Wow, that was a terrible crack, Rachel. I'm surprised I didn't get all of the eggshells in there. Now he did it one-handed. I don't think I've ever tried to crack an egg one-handed, but we're gonna try today. Ah, I did it. Not with a lot of pizzazz or flair, but I did do it. So we're gonna whisk that together. All right, that feels whisked. And then he poured about a quarter cup of milk in, so we are going to do that as well. Just gonna eyeball it though, so I don't know. Like that. I don't know, that feels good. We're gonna sprinkle in some salt. So now we're gonna microwave it covered. So he just used like a small plate. So that is what I'm going to do. And then we're gonna microwave it for one minute. All right, microwave, you are coming through today. Make me proud. Clean up my counters while I wait. I mean, nothing else in my house is clean, but at least my, my countertops can be. I've got 32 seconds. Now we'll dry them. Wee. How you guys doing? <laughs> everyone, everyone doing okay? I feel like I'm in a bar and I'm asking questions about your life. <laughs> Need to slide someone a drink there. Still 10 seconds. It's long as than ever. Ooh, I got an email. Oh, nope, can't do the email. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have chopped up the scallion. Way to go, Rachel, way to go. All right, that's fine. We'll just let it cool. Just gonna leave this here. Not gonna lift the lid yet. Don't wanna ruin the grand surprise, but I wanna get the scallions ready. And that thing's pretty scallion-y, so I'm gonna cut up a lot. All right, delicious. Okay, so bring this over. We should have an egg custard that looks mostly set, but like a little bit runny right in the center. Ooh! Oh. Ooh! Mm. That's okay, every microwave is different. Check that email while I'm waiting. All right, we're getting there, getting there. My daughter wanted me to put this in the video so you all can see. Ta-da! It's really hard to like line up microwaves. I feel like we need to have like a, a, a standard level of microwaveness across all microwaves and just keep it the same, okay? Oh, I might have overshot it. It's like a little bit jiggly, but I hope I didn't ruin it. I'm sorry, Alvin, I'm sorry. Okay, let's sprinkle some scallions on top, like so. He also did some soy sauce. So we're gonna do that. Actually, I wanna try a bite without the soy sauce first, cause that's what he did. Take a look at that, everyone. Still got a little bit of like jiggliness to it. Woo, it looks very hot. I'm gonna burn myself. Mmm. So it is very nice. Ooh, the scallions. Spot on. Okay, let's try it with some um, soy sauce too. Ooh, I should get Chris to try it. Hold on. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It tastes very light, very airy, very fluffy. It still feels a little like a scrambled egg, but much more aerated. Like I do like the consistency and with the scallions and the soy sauce, it's so good. You wanna try an egg custard? I put some soy sauce on it. Nice. And some scallions. Nice. It's, it's hot though, I'm just warning you. It's good. I liked it. Yeah. Like it's still very fluffy. You just mm -hmm. got some floof. It's so hot. I like the scallions and uh, soy sauce as 
additives to the egg Mm -hmm. at least as much as I like bacon and tomato or mushroom or whatever. What's the next one? Should we do something sweet or something savory? Pretty hungry. Okay. Let's do savory. Do my favorite. Oh, the rum? Yeah, let's do Robin. So this is also Alvin. He also made this one. I'm excited to try this one because it has, because of the, because of the cheese. It's good. I've, I've done it. You've done it? Yeah. No, when did not you like... Now is this spicy? I'm scared. Yes. It is? Yes. This, this one's is, so, this okay, one's so okay. I've had this brand before. It's very hot. Okay. So I'm going to put not as much yeah, of the third. spice in it. Let's switch it over to a bigger bowl so that we can make sure that the water goes up over the noodles. Yeah. Try that. And now it's cooking it for about two minutes without any cover. How did you make this last time? And why so didn't tough. I have any? Yeah, it's on its way. Now we need to crack an egg on top. Mm-hmm. Right on top. And then we need to put the cheese around it like a, like a guard. Does processed cheese go bad? I think it starts bad. <laughs> I mean, I love it. It's just, it is what it is. Ooh, ah. Okay, now we need to cover it. Is this going to cover? Barely. It's like it was made for it though. Look at that. Perfect. Mm. Microwave it for one minute. One minute covered. Didn't even know our microwave had a 30 second button. <laughs> it's even my use. Really? Yeah. I've never even seen that before. Why haven't I looked at that? I should pay more attention to my appliances. Wow, you really, you really did eat that whole thing. It was good. I told you I was hungry. <laughs> you said you didn't want it. It's ramen time. <laughs> Dun, 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 It's not done. Yeah, no, that's not done. I'm petitioning for all microwaves to be of equal microwaving power. Another 20 seconds? I'd say 30. Oh, it spilled right over. Was not paying attention. Cool, 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 cool. This was too much time in the microwave. Oh no. Okay, should we get the lid off and like see what it looks like? How she look? Overcooked? Question mark? Mm. Wow, only two recipes in and already have to clean out the microwave. Ooh, we overcooked. That's okay, that was perfect. really tough though. I feel like with microwave recipes, you really need to test them out a couple of times or like really know your microwave strength. Um, never tried this before and you know what? I still think it's gonna be delicious. I'm excited with the cheese. It does make it look very creamy. I like the creaminess in it. It is good, yeah. Um, texture of the noodles isn't as good as stovetop. Yeah, I wouldn't have that every time though. I feel like the creaminess is good once in a while, mm-hmm. but I love the brothy taste. You can eat the rest of it. I am gonna. <laughs> pick which hand. I have ingredients in both hands, and whichever hand you pick is the, the recipe I'm gonna do next. You can't go wrong if you go right. Potato. 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 We're gonna be making Potato chips. So we're gonna start, as you'd expect, by cutting up a potato into slices. Way far thin. Let's see how uh, thin I can make them. Nope, that's too thick. This is harder than I thought it would be. Okay, it's a little bit at an angle, but better. That's what I'm looking for. Look at that, look at that, Christopher. I can almost see you through the potato. That was a good cut. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know really good at this. All right, I grabbed a paper towel and I'm gonna put my best ones on that because you just need to kind of pat them dry. Gonna get the really thin ones. Bad at cutting these evenly. Like that's not terrible. That's good. Ooh, also I was thinking maybe we could put some sort of like a, like zhuzh it up, not just, ooh, that was a good one. Make it like an all dressed option or something. Yeah, we got some. I got some like barbecue seasoning or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I thought that would be good. Salt and vinegar. Ooh. So what kind of ingredients do we want on here? A little cayenne, a little garlic, onion. Seasoning Ooh, salt. Seasoning salt. Ooh. So we're gonna put a little bowl, put some olive oil in it. Then we're gonna take these potatoes and dump them in the oil. Get in there. Get in there. Take your clean hands and you just want to cover them in olive oil. Both sides, very important. And you also want to put olive oil on the plate. And I have extra olive oil in this bowl, so I'm just gonna use that. Come on, there we go. Boop-a-doop-a-doop-doop. 
do 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 Alright, that's good. There, beautiful. Now we're just going to lay out the potats. And they did beautiful circles because that's what Tasty does. And so I will attempt to replicate said circles. Perfect. My hands are very olive oily now. And now we're gonna split. Splinkle this. We're gonna splinkle it with some salt. It's been a long week, everyone. It's been many, many weeks of longness. Looking good and salty. Salty! And then we're going to pop this into the microwave for six to seven minutes, again, depending on your microwave. We're gonna start with six. See how that goes. How's everyone's day going? What's, what's new? I just had some cake for dinner. If you guys follow me on Instagram, it was Chris and my uh, wedding anniversary this past week. So we celebrated by having ramen and cake because that's what you do. I will say this method does take a long time for not a lot of chips. It's gonna take you like 30 minutes just to get a small batch of chips together. I don't know how I feel about that. That doesn't feel like enough. So I just realized this is probably all super annoying seeing that in the frame. Let's move that. This sizzling in there. Getting another batch ready to go. I don't know when, but these will get turned into potato chips. You guys can't really see them in there, but you can see that they're getting more golden. All right, hot plate of just a few little, little, I was gonna call them fries, uh, potato chips. These are going to be way too hot right now. Uh, let's do some toppings, right? That's what we wanna do. I'm gonna put these on my cutting board. There we go, okay. So I say we do some with the barbecue seasoning, just for fun. And then we do some with the seasoning salt. And then some with some vinegar and some more salt, obviously. Like a little like, a splash, a splash. Not too much. Let's try that. And some more salt. I'm gonna let them sit for a bit. We're gonna go on to the next recipe, which is cheesecake. Oh, coming here to taste test things. I was gonna let them cool down and then make some cheesecake, but since you're here. So we have seasoning salt, mm -hmm. we have barbecue, and we have a little bit of vinegar and some more salt. Seasoning salt, cheers. Cheers. So crispy. That actually worked. That's a chip. Absolutely it is. 100%. Yeah. That took less time too than it would in the oven, but you only get this many chips. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that is that good? Mm-hmm. That vinegar. Mm-hmm. Right, that vinegar? Oh, oh. very good. Mm. What about this barbecue here? I don't no. like that. No. Mm -mm. The other ones are better. I would also take these off and put them on a paper towel first because there's yeah. still a lot of oil on the plate. Oily. Yeah. Um, but those are really good. The like, video put them on a sandwich, which is a great idea. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. That would be really good. Yeah. And that would, you would only need like, yeah, only that many yeah. for that. So like, that would be worth it. Yeah. But that's delicious. Wait, don't, don't, no, that's I, mine. That's I, mine. Then I'll take a vinegar one. So which one is your favorite? Vinegar. Like all the different yeah, vinegar? salt and vinegar. Very good. I was a little worried. Was it kind of like, um, beat it up on top of the, the chip, but Ended up tasting really good. Yes. Now I'm gonna make cheesecake. Nice. Yeah. Are you gonna eat cheesecake from a microwave? Yeah, why not? I should put strawberries on top. I don't have raspberries. We do have frozen raspberries. Oh. We make like a <gasps> coolie Ooh. in the microwave somehow. Let's do that, okay, yeah. let's do that. Cause yeah. they just did fresh, which like looks really pretty. Yeah. But like coolie though. Yeah. So for this one, we are going to take some butter and we're going to put it into a ramekin and melt it. This should not take that long. This is lemonade, by the way. That actually might be something a lot of you don't know about me is that I'm obsessed with lemonade. Can't get enough of it. Thank you, microwave. I have lemonade every single day without fail, along with cookies. I have a problem. I need a lot of things. I need specific things every day, that's weird. I have the butter, it is now melted and they rotate the ramekins so that the butter kind of coats all the way up the sides so that the cheesecake doesn't stick. No one wants a sticky cheesecake unless it has coolie on it. And then to this, we need to add two graham crackers. You can see I have been enjoying these. I don't know what it is about graham crackers. I love to snack on them. I'm gonna crush these up, 
So it's a nice fine crumb so that we can put them in and make them a crust. I'm regretting my decision to do this by hand. Should have used my little mini food processor. Christopher, do you want to um, stir the cream cheese? We're gonna mix up the cream cheese with a couple spoonfuls of sugar and a drop of vanilla. There were no precise measurements for this except for four ounces of cream cheese. Two? I don't know. Sure. Yeah. I really want to make that cheesecake that Molly made in Bon Appetit. The, um, I don't know, Black and Burns, the one that she said was like, it oh, doesn't look really yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, you want to put it into the crust? So that needs to go in the microwave for 45 seconds at a time for four minutes total. At 50%, at 50%, this is very important. I don't know why you have to check it every 45 seconds, but I'm also not going to question it. I'm just kind of waiting until it looks like cheesecake. I guess. Right. Like, are you supposed to check it after 45 seconds and be like, nope, not cheesecake, put it back in. Okay, so cheesecake, we microwaved and then we stuck it in the freezer because it had to cool for a little bit, but now it should be ready. Yes. Perfect. Oh, look at this. Looks delicious, right? I'm mad at that. Then Christopher made a delicious little raspberry sauce to go on top. Looks v pretty. Christopher, are you gonna come and eat some cheesecake? with me to like cut it out of the ramekin. Although I guess you could you could just eat it in here though. You're making a microwave cheesecake for one. <laughs> Are you really being fancy? <laughs> I, want, I want my experience to be out of a restaurant. And then, whoa. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not great. That tells me that this is going to be mushy. I mean, it's butter and graham crackers. It can't be that bad. <laughs> Am I gonna put this down? As a... yeah. Hold on. Let's make it real nice. Mm -hmm. Restaurant. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> at least drizzle it, you know? Drizzle. <laughs> it looks a little, a little bit like blood, but <laughs> It looks a lot like blood, yes. Cheers. <laughs> Your sauce is good. Sauce is all right. This is too cheesy for me. I know it's a cheesecake. It just tastes too cream cheesy. And the and the cr the crust isn't good. No. Yeah. I'll be I'll be honest. I think if the crust were somehow better, that would be pretty edible. I don't mind the cheesecake part. That's how I like it. Bordering savory. Okay. This is where we part ways. <laughs> but the soggy crumbs really hurt it. And I like butter. And I like graham crackers. Nope. <laughs> Don't like that though. Custard, good. Cookies, good. Meat, Meat good. good. I don't think I got it right, but. No, you didn't, but it's okay, you tried. Yeah, I mean, like, I'd eat it. I am eating it. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm still eating it. I just kept eating it. What happens when you have cake for dinner? I thought this was gonna be okay. I thought the potato chips would be terrible, and they were fantastic. Very good. This I expected a bit better from. Mm -hmm. If you're really craving a cheesecake, I mean, this is edible. For sure. If you're really craving cream cheese. Just saw there's some on a bagel. Yeah, that's also good. Okay, do you want to finish that and I'll make yeah, the I last? <laughs> Why? I don't know. Why don't mind if I do? Now this I'm isn't gonna... even good. <laughs> Guess I'll finish it. Don't quote Jimmy Atkin. I have an anniversary present for you. What did... Am I supposed to open it? It's more microwave dessert. <laughs> Nicely done. Was not expecting that. Did not see that coming. That's so nice. Oh, I'm so excited. I didn't film the process. We'll just see how it microwaves. <laughs> okay, so, okay, well, walk me through what you did here. I don't really remember. I put baking things into this. Actually, the only thing that was notable about it was that I put everything that you would think of in all at once into a bowl, mm -hmm. mix it all up, and then added flour at the end. So I guess so as to not overmix okay. or something. Right. But but it was just, you know, it's just a cookie recipe mixed up. No, no egg. No, no egg. egg. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I'll microwave this while you do the next one. Okay, so while that's microwaving, let's move on to banana bread in the microwave. I'll link the video that has the actual recipe and the amounts for all of these different ingredients um, down below for you guys. But here we have some flour. We're gonna add in brown sugar into that. Then we have baking powder and a little bit of salt. Then we're gonna add in one egg. Oh, did I 
get it on myself. Do I have an egg on my sweater? Oh, you're good. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then some vegetable oil and milk. Pour that in the opposite order in which I set it. And then you need a very ripe banana, which I happen to have on hand. It was gonna go <laughs> straight into the freezer for banana bread, but uh, saved it for this. So I just reserved a little bit to cut up on top because that's what they did. And then I'm putting the rest right in. Bloop. And you just wanna mash it all together. Hey. Oh, cool. Were there chocolate chips in this recipe? I don't think there were. Yeah, that's a that's a liability. Okay, there's no way I'm getting every single little bit of banana in here. Chunky banana bread it is. And then they just poured all of the batter into a little ramekin and microwaved for 90 seconds. Now, if it were me, I would definitely put chocolate chips in this because I think that it would make it better. But I want to taste test it without because again, the recipe. Work is ready. <gasps> yes. Uh, That's um. What? Bubbling over. <laughs> Thank you for checking. Should have known this would happen. Rub, rub. It is bubbling over. It does rise a bit, so just be careful with whatever you are baking it in. That is not up to the surface, which is what I did. Just gonna put it on a plate and carry on. Cookie time. Cookie time. I like the touch of the ice cream. Very nice. Ooh, chocolatey. So it looks cookie-y, right? Just a little bit weird on the top, but we can move past it. It's crunchy. The texture is weird. I can figure it out. It's kind of like, kind of like a stale warm cookie. That's what it is. Yeah. It's like you're trying to recover a stale cookie by warming it. That mm. is exactly what it tastes like. Not bad. It tastes like a cookie. All that chocolate with the ice cream on top, was it difficult to put together, like in terms of ingredients and everything, or was it like fairly straightforward? It was finicky, like like difficult, no, but like if you're getting out your containers of baking powder and salt and flour and everything else, you might as well make a batch of cookies. Mm. It's, mm -hmm. I don't know, putting in an eighth of a teaspoon of something and a quarter teaspoon of something else, it, it was, I mean, felt silly, but... But if you only snack. have access to a microwave. Well, and they were building it as a late night snack. That works. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can get on board. I mean, I have giant containers of, like, dough in my freezer. You don't need to worry about a late night cookie craving. You're covered. <laughs> when did you make this? I need to know. When you went for a walk out, out in the neighborhood. Mm. I made that, yeah. yeah. Before Connor woke up. Tricky. Yeah. Tricky, okay. Still pretty wobbly. Just in the center though. I'll bet the outside is done though. Should we taste test it? Yeah. Hold on, we need some stuff on top. Ooh. The artsy shot. Still have some chocolate on this, but I mean. Pay it forward. Right. Ah, yeah, took too much. It's yeah. too hot. You gotta get the, just the top layer. It's banana bready. Kind of more banana cakey. It's so hot. It is. <laughs> I'm shocked at how well most of these work. Truly. Yeah. Out of all of them, I'm most impressed with the potato chips. Absolutely, 100%. Like that worked really well. Mm -hmm. And they were good. Mm -hmm. Like the right amount of crispy, not too dry. They got that nice like salty kick to them. They weren't difficult other than <laughs> The chopping, the egg custard was also good. Yes, it was. Yeah, absolutely. It Was there any that you just didn't love? The, the cheesecake was disappointing. I thought it would be the best one. Uh, uh, just, I don't know. It's mm -hmm. fine. That's exactly what it is. It, yeah. it was absolutely fine. This was good. I think it just, it was, it just needs to be um, less time in the microwave, but like a tasty cookie. This is fine. Like, I think it's mug cake yeah. fine, you know? The microwave ramen was good. I mean, microwave ramen is good. Yes. But the adding the processed cheese, I like that. This whole thing, I'm impressed. Tasty, well done. I don't say that often. Good job, Tasty. <laughs> if you have any other recipes that you guys like, that you enjoy in the microwave, leave us a comment down below and subscribe. New videos here every single Saturday. We have a whole playlist of Tasty Tested. Some are great. Some are not. I referenced the lasagna ring. It still bothers me to this day. Really that was a lot of work and it wasn't good.
and, and the hand, like why pick it up with the hand? Why? But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you all in the next video. Love you all. Mwah.